Hello guys, welcome to another one of my Civ Minor videos. In this video here, I am doing one very specific thing, and that is grinding to the bottom of this stage, this level, this part of the mining system. And then I'm taking out the boss, and that is really to provide information about the hit points of the boss. And that is because when you have that information you can calculate in advance what weapon you need in order to be able to defeat it in 30 seconds so that you don't need to waste your time uh, trying to figure out how deep down you can progress with a given weapon you can really grind your your tools not weapons your tools like several thousand meters above this uh, and calculate at that point like um, Okay, now I can go like 7,000 meters further down and, uh, and do it there. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because in games like this, it is often more interesting to grind currencies such as rubies at the less or lower difficulty areas and then upgrade and then take a leap downwards um, once you have built up some kind of good... Uh, tool and then start grinding in a new area and at some point leap further down so uh, in this video I am hopefully going to be able to show the amount of hit points a given boss has how easy it is to take out with the tool that I have and that is this one here the strong all pickaxe 326.9 damage is what I do with it right now this is of course also an um, artifact from the clan affect this, your stone sculptures affect these things. Um, so you get bonuses besides this, meaning that if you're watching this a long time after I've recorded it, and you're joining the clan, you may have an even easier time defeating the boss because of the clan artifacts that will help you, but uh, yeah. That is really just me hypothesizing about future. But hey, perhaps I am kind of a prophet. No, just kidding. So, closing in here on the bottom part of the mine. And uh, yeah, I like that. Very curious about uh, checking out the amount of taps I need to do in the next part of the mine. If it gets a lot harder. Or if it's just like, nah, no big difference. And that is of course what I'm hoping, because then I can trailblaze through a few bosses today and uh, reach another part of the mining system entirely. Hopefully get even more artifacts that can help out the entire clan. That would be great. And uh, yeah, I like that. I do like that. So almost there I'm not going to be going ninja in on the boss from the first second and that is because I do want to have enough time to like check out the amount of hit points before starting hitting the boss sometimes I'm a little too fast and then I need to redo it because I want I want the hit points to be visible so that it is possible to see how many hit points the boss had before I am completely wasted really but I think we should be getting down there now. 93 rubies, that is nice. That's very nice. Just really keeping an eye out for the rubies. Okay, so here we have it. What do we have? What do we have? Boss battle. Venom Fear the Dissector, 17,538 hit points. That uh, that should be doable. Yeah, it was very doable. So, uh, yeah, I like that. Just like that. When you take out these bosses, you get some uh, rubies. And you also get a fossil that I don't really think have like a major purpose in the game. But it is some kind of ranking system. And progression here after the boss seems to be just as 
smooth as it was before, but I did kind of over upgrade it um, because that's how I like playing. I don't like having too much of a grind. It makes farming rubies way too hard. Um, and I don't like that. I don't mind clicking a lot as long as I get a little something each time. All right, new stone. Pad your stone. That's what you get when you reach new depths. Then you get to see the new stones that have been discovered here by the first person that saw them. And that is of course a little kudos um, clap on the shoulders to I think mostly all the bot players. But uh, yeah. Then they get their 15 seconds of fame for everyone reaching this particular depth. I'm not saying that nobody progresses down here without bots. I mean I am, but uh, considering how deep some of these players have been digging in the system and how short time they have reached it uh, compared to the release date they need to have very fast fingers like tapping more times in a second than I think is humanly possible but then um, what do I know we all have our different skill sets right this does appear to be a pretty deep area we have reached. I really want to go down to the boss without taking it out in this video just to see what kind of depth we are looking at and to start providing a reference point, um, information about the amount of rubies that can be dug out at this level here. So, uh, I mean, it would be nice if it was Kawazi, but uh, it's probably not. Probably not Kawazi. We'll see. Cases, cases everywhere. So this is partially case clicker, right? I mean, there are cases. Or is it crates? Perhaps it's crates. Crate clicker. Yeah, probably more crates. None of them with the nice colored background that I'm looking for. The ones with artifacts inside. But uh, one day they will be mine. Oh yes. They will be mine. Tunes in the background are from No Copyright Sounds, a free sound directory with a lot of amazing music that can be used for free in Twitch and YouTube videos. So uh, kudos to all the amazing people providing and helping make that possible. That is so amazing. I absolutely love when people put up things out there, no strings attached, that allow other peoples, other people, not peoples, other people to be creative uh, without getting ruined, uh, especially for those of us like um, on a studying budget, because I mean licenses for, for music is just kind of way out there. Uh, Hard to figure out how do you do it, how do you get started, who do you contact, uh, how do you do all the legal stuff, where do you send the money, and you know. I would never really dig into that if it wasn't for something such as the free YouTube uh, music area and um, no copyright sounds. They are making it less of a jungle for people like me, and I like that. I really like that. Oh, yes, I do. So this seems like a very, very, very deep mining area, but uh, in regards to oil, I think that's cool. Um, I am more an oil digger than oil raider, and that is because the iPhone that I have has such a small tapping area that getting the oil by raiding is just unfair. I don't have a good fighting chance. Uh, I've been playing this also on the iPad, trying it out, and I'm like, I don't know, 20 times as good when I'm tapping on the iPad. Uh, not as good as people doing macros, I know that, but um, like in regards to humanly possible things, uh, you can't compare the game on a device with a larger screen and then on a device with a smaller. So uh, because of that, I don't really feel that the rating PvP system in this game is fair. But um, it is what it is, and uh, hope not hopefully, but luckily, 
the game is super enjoyable even uh, without it. I'm not saying that I have never won raids. I have been raiding and I have been winning, but um, it's just not as fun when you feel like you can lose just for having the wrong phone or you know the wrong sized screen. Uh, so it doesn't become about skill or speed or whatever you want to call it, but about having bought the right thing. Uh, not even in game, but just you know in general something with a big screen. Uh, so, but it doesn't make me angry with the game. I like the game. Just more of a digger than a raider in this game. So we finally reached the bottom, I think here. Nice to see where the rabbit hole actually ends. So this is where I am going to be um, ending this by uh, just having a look at the monsters, the warlock here, and um, closing it out by saying, as always, thank you guys very much for watching.